All right, welcome to chi-square tests. We're going to be introduced to three chi-square tests, and actually we're going to see goodness of fit, then homogeneity, and then independence and association, okay? Um, these two down at the bottom are very closely linked, okay? And it's hard to tell them apart. Goodness of fit is pretty obviously because there's some model that's suggested, and we're saying, my sample doesn't perfectly fit the model, but how good does it fit? And the p-value is the probability that a sample did come from the claim model and yet had a distribution that differed from the model like my sample did or more greatly, okay? Um, independence and association, we have two categories, right? Maybe it's coffee drinkers and tea drinkers, and they seem to differ slightly in some other way, okay? Are they so different that I know there's an association between coffee drinkers and people who um, ride their ride on a rail trail or, um, tea drinkers and people who, um, eat a particular diet. Okay. And this is the probability that they're actually independent, but we'd see as much of a difference as we saw. Okay. And so this is usually, or this is within one sample. Okay, so you have a population, you take a sample of people and you divide them up into whatever categories they're within. Okay, a test of homogeneity is when you take two independent samples from two different populations and you compare those two populations to each other. Or like we do in an experiment where you randomly assign to two different treatments and then you check to see if there's a difference in um, the response var variables of these treatments. So the two populations, male and female, or like placebo versus some other group, seem to differ in at least one of these categories. Maybe it's like responses to a medication, right? How many people experience headaches? How many people, what percentage of people experience headaches or um, whatever, nausea, whatever, from, uh, from different vaccines or whatever, okay? The null, the different populations are the same in all categories. The p-value is the probability that the populations differ in at least one category. So we're dealing definitely with categorical data, and they're all looking for sameness under the assumption of sameness here, that the model, my sample, is the same as the model, or there's some differences, that the categories are the same, or that there's same, meaning independent, or there's an association between things, okay? Homogeneity, these populations are the same. Or these treatments have the same response or the alternative is that they're different okay all the time we're going to be calculating the same test statistic this chi-squared test statistic is the sum of the observed value which is just how many we observed minus the expected value which is calculated a couple different ways um, squared divided by the expected okay and we have either k minus one degrees of freedom so like when we're dealing with uh rolling a die. There's six different faces, okay? And the model that I expect is one-sixth on each face. Um, there's six faces, so we have five degrees of freedom, okay? If you have a two-way table, which is what we see for both of these are comparing two-way tables, um, you'll find that the degrees of freedom are the rows minus one times the columns minus one, okay? And the degrees of freedom if you have one degree of freedom, this is the shape of your chi-square distribution. With small degrees of freedom, it's very, very heavily skewed right. But as your degrees of freedom increase, the hump starts to move to the point where this shape with really, really large degrees of freedom starts to resemble a normal curve, okay? And so we're looking for a chi-square test statistic. And if you think about it, we're adding up these positive numbers because observed minus expected, we squared, it becomes positive. We're dividing by expected, which is also a positive number. And big numbers are unusual. And so the probability that you're at that number or greater, the probability that you're at that number or greater, the probability you're at that number or greater, that's your p-value is what's the probability we would get a sample that has such big differences, such big differences between observed and expected as you got in your sample or more drastic, okay? We're gonna dive in and we're gonna study those three types of chi-square distributions, so buckle up.